It's Mr. What You Want coming back at you with the real. And we're going to talk about the unk. The unk. They say it's an unk. They say it's called the unk. But the unk was the first electrical conductor known to mankind. The feminine and masculine principles of the unk are also principles, as we know, of the electron, the proton, and the neutron. The electron, the proton, and the neutron makes up the atom, which is the light. Also, the electricity that's flowing through your chakras, that's that, the electricity that's moving your body, your soul, your soul. We're in a solar system, so we're connected to the sun, okay? Now, the ancestors, my beloved, our beloved ancestors, understood how to harness solar power and electricity at that time. Matter of fact, when you're reading in the Bible and it start talking about Ark of Covenants and all this and that, we have ne we have yet to see a Ark of the Covenant produced by the Hebrew Israelite or the Jew, whatever whoever you are that's following these writings of Moses. But we showed you our Ark of the Covenant, and it's in the Holy of Holies right now. Not only that. We electrified the sarcophagus. We was able to man so much energy and electricity in it to where some of those sarcophagus, if you touched them, they would electrocute you. See, when we talk about the electron, the proton, and the neutron, and we talk about melanin, which is the carrier, the holder, the protector, of the light. And what is the light? The light is the divine cosmic information. Light is divine cosmic information. And guess what? We understood that gold was the best electrical conductor on the planet. Gold. Gold, gold in the sun rays is one. Now, copper would be used next. And as we all know, harness electricity through copper turns the copper green. So we can see these things. Now, when Napoleon... And we're going to talk about Napoleon because Napoleon tie into this slightly. And I want you to take a look at these unks being pressed at the nose of the Nasut of Pharaoh because that's important. And the reason why I say that's important is because a lot of people say that our noses were hacked off because of racism and some uh, explorers or invaders didn't want the world to know that the builders of such these monuments and which not were actually African or black. Now, I'm not going <clears> to, <throat> when it comes down to the Sphinx, you know, I'm not going to dispute that. But when you see all over the walls, noses hacked out and scratched out, that's because we understood the breath of life that came from the unk when it's placed by the nasal palate. See, that's where the best electrical conduction can take place. Like when you, when your heart stops and they got to hurry up and rub the prongs together and then hit you with that electricity to try to get that heart to jump back in and beat you. That's how we would, that's how we would zap you with the unk. Huh? Put that spark back in you. We understood that. So when we drape ourselves up in gold, we're also conducting solar power. 
We understood how to harness electricity. We understood the spirit. We understood the frequencies, which is why they got these CERN particle accelerators. They got CERN particle accelerators because they're trying to open up war they're trying to open up portals and set certain energies and frequencies to begin to live in human beings. Because they understand that the sun is giving us souls. And I speak with passion when I speak in this because it's real. They know that the sun give us spirits. Okay, they come through the sun rays. This is why you see Akhenaten holding his hands up to the sun rays. And you see the sun rays giving unks to him. It's giving atoms. Electron, proton, neutrons. Cosmic, divine information. And once again, this is why every time you see one of these so-called prophets, they got a sun behind their head. Because the sun communicates. It speaks to us. It guides us. It tells us what and what not to do whether you realize it or not. If the sun lost 13% of its heat, this whole planet will turn back into an ice glacier. The sun is the exact perfect distance from us for these sentinel bodies that we have to exist, that we live in. And when I say we live in the body, it's because we understand that the energy the electricity, the soul that's moving this body did not come from earth because the sun is not in earth. So when we talk about ETs and extraterrestrials and we got these onks and these principles, then we understand that we can absorb things that's outside of earth's atmosphere right into us because the melanated people are certain particle accelerators within their own right. See, they can communicate through through y your thoughts of sound waves. So we can communicate mentally back and forth to the universe. That's the power we have. The onk also signified that. So now back to Napoleon. Now, they let Napoleon kill at will whoever he felt like killing. But when Napoleon got his hands on that Rosetta Stone, look how fast the British, look how fast the British went and got that boy. Straight up. Straight up. They went and got him. Because when he got that Rosetta Stone, they wasn't sure. They didn't know what he was going to crack. They couldn't afford for Napoleon to understand and know the principles of I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say the astro theological concepts of our ancestors, which they still haven't figured it out yet, because this we live in it. This ain't a script. <laughs> the same sun is in control of us now like it was ten thousand years ago. The same sun is in control of us now like it was twenty thousand years ago. And when the sun rises, the darkness got to fall in line. This is not a script. So they found out the principles of the unk and they made a battery. The battery came from the principles of the unk. Your positive, your negative. The whole battery, your car battery, your battery, period. Because they couldn't use the unks, being they didn't absorb the sun rays. See, we walking around with all this gold on us. We get all these sun rays. We get a whole bunch of souls and spirits. Because the ancestors live in the sun. That's the electricity. That's the energy. That's the connection. So the sun possesses the souls and the personalities. They couldn't absorb the sun like that. But understanding the principles, they was able to create a battery in 1791. Hertz. And they gave them the, the credit for it, but they would not say that the unk is the electrical principles that our ancestors laid down through the Holy Trinity. 
the electron, the proton, the neutron. And they're going to give the credit to Hertz. So this is why we have to understand the importance of the aunt and the female, the unification of the male and the female. The input of energy into a vessel to light the vessel up and give the vessel life. So we sun gaze now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's a letter that they found, and the letter didn't even come from Agnaten himself. But it, I don't remember exactly what nation it was that was going to try to get some type of resources from him. Because they were saying, look, man, I'm not, he stopped collecting taxes. He stopped the military campaigns. He wasn't even visiting the nations and being an ambassador, none of that. And they start coming to him. And Aknot made one of, them, one, of them, one of them armies of them stand up in the sun for so long. He, he had them sun gazing for eight or nine hours to where they wrote and say, man, look, my, my king, you got us out here in the sun. We got to pass out, bro. Whatever it is, you but he made anybody that came to him, they had to absorb them sun rays. The Aten. The Aten. And the Aten is depicted handing onks to the Pharaoh or information, life. Because words, spiritual words of truth is life. It's life. Bottom line. Truth is life, lies are death. It's not a physical thing. Truth is life, lies of death. The sun is where the true electricity comes from. Moon is lit up by the sun. Okay? The sun brings life and movement to the planets. The moon revolves around the planet. So it's two set. The sun is the divine government. The moon is the dark, the death. You understand? So when we offer these devils life after death, because we understood the electrical current, the frequencies, and we also knew we can reincarnate and come back. Because we back now. This is what this is what the unk is about. The resurrection. It's been pointed to my nose. It's been pointed to the nasal palace. That spark took that spark took place, and it's natural. It can't be deciphered. It's a testimony. It's lived. It's not a script. So this is just a little quick, 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 quick view of the unk. Research. Look it up. Peace be to y'all. One love to the great mother.